Good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us today. I am Nin Desai, and I will be your host. I started my professional career in the private client group. At Merrill, we managed portfolios of high net worth individuals. While it was great to trade stocks and bonds, I was always curious about how these companies went public. Because after business school, I joined Pacific Crest Securities. PCS is a tech-focused investment bank with a global presence focused on software, communications, semiconductors, and internet and digital media. In 2005, IPOs were at the peak, and it was amazing to take all these companies public. But that led to another question. How do VCs know what companies to invest in and which ones to take public? Thus, I joined Alpha Capital Partners. Alpha is a generalist fund with about $135 million of assets under management. My most recent transaction at Alpha was Circon, a software-as-a-service provider company. Venture capital has been around as large Chinese entrepreneurs and investors since the beginning of the last century. However, the 2000 financial aid man down led to a liquidity crisis for entrepreneurs, companies, LPs, and VCs. Fewer IPO means no exit for VCs, no return for LPs, and as a result, venture funds were on a decline. No new funds means less startup funding, low employment, and slow economic growth. Thus, on April 5, 2012, the Jumpstart Our Business Startup Act, or the Jobs Act, was introduced, which enables crowdfunding for all Americans. And that's how NIN Ventures came into existence. Crowdfunding is the practice of funding a project or venture by raising contributions from a large number of people, typically via the Internet. NIN Ventures is the first of its kind technology venture capital fund to be managed, raised, and marketed and reported online. The General Association and General Advertising under the Jobs Act and Rule 506C of the U.S. Securities Act made it possible for us to raise this fund. This rule came into effect September 23, 2013, and we were the first ones to go live with a website and videos about our fund. NIN Ventures also became the first venture funds to be seen on a billboard, which was followed by in-taxi ads and other social media facilities with marketing. Ninda has been recipient of numerous awards. I have also been awarded 2015 Seed of the Year Illinois for innovation and contribution to the venture capital industry. According to private equity, including private equity venture fund manager to watch for 2017 by Corporate America. Now, I have a little bit about the fund. This is a 25 million early growth stage crowdfunded technology venture capital fund. We invest in series A and B rounds of disruptive technology companies and write checks anywhere from 1 to 5 million. There are various Investment make vehicles, including stocks, bonds, mutual funds, IRA, and real estate on alternatives like venture capital. However, most people are short-sighted and have a three-dimensional portfolio, that is stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, versus taking a long-term approach and investing in alternatives like venture capital. Investing in alternatives allows true diversification, that is, and helps mitigate the risk involved in having a traditional portfolio. For example, Yale. Yale is currently the best performing endowment fund in the United States. From 2008 to 2015, Yale has increased its allocation in private equity and venture capital from 20.2 to 33% out of which 16.3% is venture capital compared to 13.7% in 2014 and just 10% the previous year. In general, most people have a three-dimensional portfolio, but if you look at Harvard and Yale's portfolio, they take a long-term approach and invest in alternatives like venture, venture capital. Historically, if you look at US VC index and S&P 500, US VC index tend to outperform S&P 500. And not only that, they have an inverse relationship. This type of investment strategy allows them to achieve true diversification and also helps mitigate the risk involved in having only a stock and bond portfolio. Most people are indirectly invested in venture capital via pension fund or any other investment vehicle. Crowdfunding allows them to directly invest in a fund of their choice by eliminating the middleman, that is the pension fund and the management fees, allowing investors to generate higher returns. Since 2014, 
The crowdfunding industry has grown steam bills estimated $34 billion in 2015 and is doubling or more every year. Crowdfunding is spread across several types of funding models, including rewards, donations, equity, debt, lending. The two most popular type of crowdfunding methods are reward and equity. For reward-based crowdfunding, entrepreneurs pre-sell a product or service to launch a business and sometimes even in return for gifts or thank you. For equity crowdfunding, the backer receives a share of a company, usually in exchange of the money pledged. For NIN Ventures or NIN.VC, it would be a limited partner interest in the NIN Ventures Technology QP Fund. The market is flooded with various funding or crowdfunding options for each stage of this funding cycle. But there is a major flaw with crowdfunding in general, and that is what NIN.VC is solving. I come from an entrepreneurial family, so I can speak on their behalf. Entrepreneurs are brave and courageous, but they are determined to change the way an existing industry functions. On that journey, they need a lot more than just financing. They need guidance or domain expertise, help with PR and marketing, recruiting, viable exit strategy, more often follow-up financing, which crowdfunding portals are not able to support. On the other hand, crowdfunding exposes investors to a whole new asset class, which the normal population never had the knowledge or expertise to invest in. About 99% of startups fail. On top of that, Low minimum investment like $1,000 does not give them a say or a board seat putting investors at a high degree of risk. At NIN.VC, we solve all those issues. NIN.VC provides diversification, we take board seats on all our investments, and lend the necessary support that an entrepreneur needs to build a business, like they would get out of traditional venture capital firm. And the most important part that investors care about is the ability to direct invest and enjoy direct returns which is not the case with traditional venture capital funds. Linda VC has the best of both worlds. We're a hybrid between a traditional venture capital fund and a crowdfunding portal. So, how can you be a part of Linda VC? Recently, the SEC Title III Jobs Act equity crowdfunding for non-equity ventures, which allows any U.S. citizen, regardless of to make direct investment via a crowdfunding portal. However, investment in funds like ours is still limited to accredited investors. One must be an accredited investor and verify themselves as an accredited investor before they can invest in the NIN Ventures Technology QP Fund. An accredited investor is an individual with more than 200000 per year or a joint income of 300000 in each of the last two years or has a net worth exceeding a million either individually or jointly with his or her spouse, excluding the Excluding the primary residence, for an entity, any trust with total assets in excess of $5 million qualifies. There are multiple ways to verify if you're an accredited investor. For an individual, it's income, asset, and third-party verification. For an entity, it's asset and third-party verification. There are multiple ways of investing in that scene. There are a wide range of options when it comes to investing in an inventors technology QP fund using checking their savings accounts, defined benefit plans, self-directed IRAs, and digital currency. Now let's go through the investment process step in detail. The very first step is to visit NIN.VC and sign up. Sign up is simple. First name, last name, email, password, and acknowledge that you are an accredited investor. Once you sign up, you get access to our marketing material, that is PPM, investor presentation, and other suggested readings. You get invited to attend our events and calls like this one. You can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with us at our office or online via Skype. Once you decide to make an investment, accept the risk and disclosure statement that will explain what venture capital investment is. The next step is to verify accreditation. Once that is in order, it's only a matter of filling out a subscription document in a W9 form on NIN.VC. The last step is payment and it's as simple as selecting a payment method and the amount you wish to invest. Please note that venture capital is a high reward investment vehicle and we strongly recommend reviewing the other suggested readings on our website before making any investment decisions. On that note, we are open to questions. Please type your questions in the chat box and we will make sure we answer them all. Thank you for being on the call. Sign up now, VC, to begin your investment process now 
And feel free to reach us at contact at NINDA EC or 312-953-0930 to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting or with any other questions or material requests. Have a wonderful day and happy investing.